the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Dear friends, the couple of Sundays before the Ascension prepares us for the departure of the Lord. In the Gospel and in the Alleluia of the Mass today we heard, I came forth from the Father, and I am come into the world. Again I leave the world, and I go to the Father. We should imitate our blessed Lord, and always look forward to what is the final destination, heaven with God. The Lord Jesus goes only to send us the Holy Ghost, but why is the Holy Ghost sent to us, if not to lead us safely to heaven? Just like the sun came down from heaven not to remain on earth, but to show us the way to heaven. Heaven is, then, our destination. We must walk through life on earth as a preparation for eternity. As St. James told us in the epistle, keep ourselves unspotted from this world. We must not be delayed by this world, nor stained by this world, even less trapped into this world. Heaven is where we must reach. Sadly, even within the Church, this essential truth and perspective can be lost. We indeed are on a journey. We are travelers. We are like the Hebrew people walking across the desert towards the promised land. We cannot settle in this world. We are pilgrims towards a sacred destination, and that is the bosom of the Holy Trinity. On the other hand, we should not ignore the world. Simply, we must use the world according to its purpose. That is, to help us reach heaven. We should commit to improving the present world for the sake of the next. Eternity seekers are not dreamers. They are the true realists, as among others Pope Pius XII said. It was his message on Christmas Eve 1945, after the world had been almost entirely destroyed by the Second World War through the obstination and cruelty of these two godless ideologies, communism and Nazism. This is what Pope Pius XII tells us at that time. Politics oriented towards the eternal truth and laws of God is the most real and concrete of politics. So we believers working in this world for the next are no dreamers, we are realists. Making the world our horizon, our goal and our end is the best way to be unhappy and to make other people unhappy in this life and in the next. On the contrary, embracing the world as our God-given preparation for eternity is the best way to till the land, to value nature, to build friendships, to be fulfilled in knowledge, skills, and virtues. We are on a journey. We are not wandering as if lost. We are, in fact, not on a leisure stroll, but on a pilgrimage. In fact, our itinerary is a return. Heaven is not only where we must reach in the end, it is where we belong from the start. Thus, our time on earth is 
an exile. Yes, we are exiles. What are exiles? Exiles are people who have been cast out from their country of origin. They normally long for their fatherland. They make do with their place of dwelling, but their intention, their interests, their hearts lie with the other country. Heavenly glory is the sacred destination we long for, as today's secret prayer petitions, quote, that we may enter into heavenly glory. Dear friends, heaven is anticipated here below. Every time we cross the border between sin and grace, we reach heaven by anticipation. Grace is the fatherland. Where is the gate to cross the border from sin to grace? It is over there the door into the confessional. Transit from the exile of sin to the fatherland of grace is never better secured than through a devout Holy Communion, as we heard or will hear in the post-communion, filled with strength from this heavenly table. When we receive our Lord with faith and devotion in state of grace, we indeed, in advance, step in the heavenly intimacy with God. In conclusion, may our Blessed Lady, on this month of May, prepare us for the ascension of our Son and the sending of the Holy Ghost, these joyful stages in our pilgrimage towards heaven, towards the bosom of the Blessed Trinity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen.